Turn it up. Yeah. Call all the deacons up. Call them up now. Ask if we licking up. Ask if we licking up. What time no sleeping time? 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 Call up the deacons, bro. Call them up now. Ask if we licking up. Ask if we licking up. What time no sleeping time? What time no sleeping time? Wake up the sleeping trap. Wake up the sleeping trap. Call up the deacons, bro. Call them up now. Ask if we licking up. Now, 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 now. What time no sleeping time? 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 Call all the deacons. I call him up now. Ask if we linking up. What we linking up? What time no sleeping time? Yeah. In a minute now. Wake up the sleeping trap. I said I had to call him up. I made the phone call a deep like, what's up? Is you ready for war? He replied, being ready for war. Being ready for a battle with swords. And I respect him because he fought many wars. I humble down to what the scriptures say. And give doubles to the elders that been leading the way. I know it's hard in this walk and they've been walking for years. So when I'm weak in the flesh, they voice it into my ears. A young man trying to soak the wisdom, gain the knowledge, apply the scriptures, wrong decisions, leave me senseless. Dear Lord, would you give me a chance? We all looking for the code of the gate. We all looking how to... We are out here on a mission to wake up the dead of our people. We're standing up for the Most High God for His laws, statutes, and commandments. That's right. Restoring the community with the laws of God. Black man, stop killing, stop killing your brother. Stop smoking cigarettes, smoking weed, getting drunk in broad daylight, breaking the Lord's Sabbath day. All right, read that. The Book of Psalms, chapter ninety-four, verse fifteen. But judgment shall return unto the righteous. Yes. Verse 16, who will rise up for me against the evildoers? So God is asking a question, who's going to rise up for him against all the evildoers, against all the workers of iniquity, against all those teaching you the lies? Come out of the Christian church, they ain't teaching you the truth. You are the people of the Bible. Christ is a black man, so are you. You are the Israelites according to the Bible. Come over and learn the heritage, ask your questions. Put it on. Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? So who gonna stand up? How you doing, brother? You might give me five minutes of your time to show your nationality according to the Bible. Just five minutes of your time. You, can, you might have to ask you one quick question. Come close real quick. What would you consider yourself, like your nationality? A black American, right? Look at this sign right here. You see that? Black American or American blacks? Right beside that, it says Judah. That's your actual nationality according to God. Not according to what the so-called white man calls you or anybody else in these other nations. You are a Judite according to the Bible. You are a real Jew. And let me show you something real quick. Give me Hebrews 7 14 real quick. Bring it up. Somebody else very important was from that same tribe as you, brother. You gotta, I people need to understand how special they are. Then that will end the black on black crimes. The brothers uh, raping their own sisters, whoring them out, prostituting them, not, uh, marrying, they, uh, 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 not marrying them. There'll be no more baby mamas, baby daddies. It'll be husband and wife. If we knew who we were. You got it? 7 to 14. So we're about to read who else is from the tribe of Judah, right? The book of Hebrews, chapter 7, verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord... So it said, it's evident that our Lord... Who is our Lord? Jesus Christ. So our Lord came out of what? For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Out of what? Out of Judah. So Jesus the Christ came out of Judah. So guess what? When you think about it, you look at your skin, you got you got skin just like Christ. If you were if you didn't know that. You got hair just like Christ. We finna read that out of the Bible, but Christ came by the same tribe the so-called American blacks did. Alright, finish that off. Of uh, which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning the priesthood. Alright, give me Revelations 101. Because I'm, I'm finna show you this. Your skin is just like Jesus the Christ's skin tone. Just like it. Same hair color and all of them. I'm finna show you out of the Bible. They will read this to you on Sunday in uh, the Christian church. church. Right. They will say he's this man over here. That white man. No. That's Caesar Bozier. The image of the beast. The one who came in Christ's image. The one that Christian church teach. The, 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 uh, Jesus is not a white man according to the Bible. He is a black man. We're going to prove that. That's you got it? The book of Revelations, chapter 1, verse 1. The revelations of Jesus Christ. So the revelation of Jesus Christ, the revealing of Jesus Christ. So we're going to find out what he looks like, right? Because revelation means reveal. I don't want to just tell you something and you not agree. Revelation means reveal, right? All right. We don't. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants 
things which must shortly come to pass. So he said he must show this to his servants. His servants are the Israelites, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. So he put this in this Bible for a reason, because he knew one time it would come uh, in these last days that they would say Jesus is a white man with long, white, uh, uh, blonde, stringy hair, with blue eyes. So give me verse 14. Actually, give me uh, 13. The book of Revelations, chapter 13. Verse 12. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. So John of Patmos turned around to see the voice which was speaking to him. He turned around to look and see what voice was speaking to him. Read. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. He saw seven golden candlesticks. Take a look at the sign right here on the far, on the far right. See that? It's seven golden candlesticks around that image right there. All right, so we were revealing Jesus to Christ. Does this have uh, seven golden candlesticks around the image? Does it? No, it doesn't. All right, so read on. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of God. So guess what? Read that. No, read that right. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. So one like unto the Son of Man. The Son of Man is who? Jesus Christ. So he turned around to look at this man. He said, oh, this, this brother looked just like the Son of Man, Jesus Christ. Right? So let's get some more description about this Son of Man, Jesus Christ. Read. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. So he had on a garment down to the foot. Uh, if you if you would have seen when our brothers had the garment on, he had a long garment going down here. But you can see his shoes and all that, right? Read. And girt about the patch with a golden girdle. So he had a golden belt around his garment, right? His head. His what? His head. His what? His head. And his hairs were white like wool. So brother, if I had a mirror right now, I would be pointing this thing straight to you. And I see on the top of your head is it's white. And the, if you had a beard growing out, it would be white as well. And if you would let it grow out like I got mine, like this brother got his out, it would be white and wooly. Read that from the top. His out. head and his hairs were white like wool. His head and his hair was white like wool. The texture of his hair was wooly, not stringy like a dog, not like uh, Cesar Boger right here. It was white and wooly, like you so-called blacks. Your hair is godlike. Black women, stop perming your hair. Stop putting the blind weave in your hair. And enjoy and love your natural self. Because you was created in God's image. Hold on, brother. I'm not finished yet. I'm about to get this. Hold on. Read this out. Put a little bit longer. Listen to this while you walk up, all right? As white as snow. And his eyes were as flame of fire. And his feet like under fine So, brother, his feet was like what? And his feet like under fine brass. Guess what, brother? You got fine brass feet as well. Don't yeah. finna see how brass or how brown his feet were, right? As if they burned in the furnace. As if what? As if they burned in the furnace. So Jesus the Christ's feet was like fine brass as if it was burned in a furnace. So guess what? Jesus the Christ is a black man, a very dark-skinned black man, according That's to the right. Bible. The, your Christian church will not tell you this. Give me Daniel 10 and 5. We're going to get another Old Testament description of Jesus the Christ. Bring it out, Ox. Give me Daniel 10 and 5. Because the Bible said Jesus the Christ's feet was like fine brass as if it burned in a furnace. Let's get another second description of it. Read what you got. The book of Daniel, chapter 10, verse 5. Bring it out. Then I looked up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen. So there you go again. A certain man, the son of man, Jesus the Christ, wait. Whose loins were girded with fine gold of Euphat. Had the same golden girdle on, read. His body also was like the barrel. And his face as the appearance of lightning. His face as the appearance of lightning because when you read in Luke, Christ had an austere appearance to him. He was a serious man. He was not no weak, effeminate looking man. He said, come, come, come worship me on Sunday. Come to Sunday school. No. Christ was an austere black man according to the Bible. Read on. And his eyes as lamps of fire. And his arms and feet. Uh oh. His arms and his feet was like what? Like in color. Hold on, colors in the Bible? Read that again. And his arms and his feet like in color. So it says his arms and his feet was like in color to what? To polish brass. No, to pale. To polish brass. He was a white man. To polish brass. I thought, I thought the Sunday school said he was a white man. To polish brass. So guess what? Jesus is a black man according to the Bible. That's right. right. The blood flowing through your skin is the same blood that Jesus the Christ had flowing through his. But guess what? Give me Hosea 4 and 6. Our people don't know that. It's for a reason. You broke God's commandments, therefore you don't understand this knowledge anymore. You don't understand being an Israelite. You don't understand that uh, God and Christ is a black man. 
You are God's chosen people, black man, black woman, Hispanic man, Hispanic woman. Come back to your two heads and keep God's commandments. Read what you got. The book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So it said, my people, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. It's possessive right there. That is possessive. Not everybody, but my people, God's people, the Israelites, black man, black woman, read. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. So, so because you rejected knowledge, give me Malachi 2 and 7. Hold this, we'll come right back. We got to figure out what the knowledge of God is. Understand that y'all, all y'all all in that car right there, y'all are God's chosen people. Right. We must repent, keep God's commandments. Return to the Lord. Follow his commandments, all right? Read on. That's right. The book of Malachi, chapter 2, verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So it said the priest's lips, what we do, we're in the position of a priest right now, bringing out the word of God. So we should keep knowledge. We're going to find out what the knowledge of God is. Read on. And they should seek the law at his mouth. So they should seek the what? The law at his mouth. So we're out here teaching you the laws of God according to the Bible and your nationality. Go back to Hosea 4 and 6. Start from the top. Read out. The book of Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So it says God's people, you Israelites, black man, black woman, you are destroyed for the lack of laws. Because you don't want to marry the black woman, black man. Because you want to pimp her out. Because you want to sell dope to your brother. Because you want to break the Lord's Sabbath day. Because you want to get drunk in noonday. That's why God has turned his back on you. Read on. Because thou has rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. So you, because you rejected the Lord's word, he will also reject you. That's why we are here to bring this knowledge back to you. So you can repent and return back to being God's chosen people. That's that's right. Right. That thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. All right, give me Exodus 19 and 5, because I made a statement. I said, right now, y'all not in the proper position of being God's chosen people. I'm going to prove why, why I said that. It's a reason. Because right now, you are the Israelites, and the Israelites are God's chosen people. But right now, when you're walking around calling yourself African-American, black, Negro, all these other different names outside of what God gave you, he's not calling you his people. So it's something we must do to be back at his people. Read what you got. The book of Exodus, chapter 19, verse 5. Now, therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed. Uh oh, it said, if, if you obey God's voice indeed, read. And keep my covenant. And do what? And keep my covenant. And do what? And keep my covenant. Read. Then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people. So it said, and then after you keep his covenant, you will be that peculiar people above how many people? Above all people. I thought the Christian church says we are equal. God just said, if we keep his commandments, we're going to be what? Above all people. We're going to be above all people. So, so why, is, why, are we, why are we trying to fight for equal rights when God says we are supposed to be above all people? That's right. Guess what? You have lost your nationality. You have lost your laws. That's why you're in the bottom of society. Is that it on that? For all the earth is mine. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 28 and uh, 15. We're going to get straight to it. Actually, no. Give me 1 Kings 8 and 47 first. Because we're here to give you the proper steps of coming back into God's, uh, being, being of God's chosen people. Bring it up. Come over and ask your questions. Learn your nationality. Pull over. Talk to us. We're here for our people. We're here to give you the knowledge of God. Thus saith the Lord. Read what you got. The book of 1 Kings, chapter 8, verse 47. Yet if they shall bethink themselves. So first you got to bethink yourself. What does bethink mean? It means to remember. So you must remember who you are first and foremost in order to be that God's chosen people. You got to understand first, you are an Israelite. You are not an African American. You are not a Moor. That's right. You are not a Muslim. You are not a Christianity person. You are not a Baptist. You are an Israelite according to the Bible. Read right right on. In the land whether they were carried captive. So in this land when we was carried captives, we must bethink ourselves as Israelites. This is talking about us. No other nation was carried away captive from their homeland. We're going to show you what our homeland is real quick. Hold this. Give me, a, uh, give me Galatians 4 and 26 real quick. Because if he said, if he was carried away, how you doing, brother? You got a question? Give me uh, Matthew chapter 6 real quick. Because I got to show you, um, according to the Bible, how do we do proper prayer? Do we do it just out here in the open or do we do it? Concealed at our own time. I'm going to show you out of the word of God real quick. Bring Verse 6. Bring it up. Matthew 6 and 6. Or to 5. Let's see. Hey, bro. 
five o'clock. Yep. Six so, o'clock? Yep. The book of Matthew, chapter six, verse five. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. So it says, when we pray, we shouldn't be as the hypocrites are. We're going to find out the manner of the hypocrite's prayer. All right? Breathe on. Well, they love to pray standing in the synagogue. They love to do what? Pray standing in the synagogues Breathe. and in the corners of the streets. You see that? The hypocrites love to pray standing in the corner of the streets. So according to the Bible, we're not going to sit here, stop what we're doing, and pray for you. Not saying that, you know, we ain't going to pray for you. We pray for all our people on our own time. Because we pray every day. To, uh, that our people will finally wake up when we get the hell out of this captivity. That's right. Right. You gotta understand that. But in order for us to first pray for you, we must see change. Cause we can't just pray for pray for a uh, brother that, that want to stay uh, smoking weed, that want that want to stay smoking cigarettes, want to stay smoking crack. You gotta apply the scriptures. Give me that and um, finish that off first. Then give me um, give me that in Matthew. And in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you. They have their reward. So you see that they have their reward because everybody's saying, oh man, they praying for this brother. They seem to be holy and all that. We don't. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. You see that when we pray, we're supposed to enter into a closet, not literally in a concealed place, right? And when thou hast shut thy door, pray to the Father which is in secret, and thou Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. You see that? When we pray at our own time, secretly, the Most High God will reward us openly. So when we pray out in the open, we already, we already got a reward. Because everybody's saying this, they think we holy, they think we nice guys, because we're praying for everybody. No, we're supposed to pray in a concealed location to the most high God between him and us. And we pray for whatever we got to pray for. Alright? Give me that uh, John 9.31, all praises. Bring it out. Read that real quick. So we're going to show you how <clears throat> how to have the most I got to hear you when you make your prayer for yourself and whatever you need. All right? What, what, what you got? The book of John, chapter 9, verse 31. Bring it out. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. You see that? God said he don't hear sinners. Read. But if any man be a worshiper of God and doth his will. And do my what? And doth his will. Him, he hear it. So you gotta do the most high God's will. Give me that Psalms 40 and 8. You gotta do the most high God's will before he starts hearing you in your prayer. Because he, he know all our people is, is praying for foolishness, wanting a new car when they don't need one, praying for somebody to buy some crack, praying for uh to bust his new sister down the street. You know our people uh destroyed it for the lack of knowledge. So he knows our people uh want to pray for all this foolishness. So read that real quick. The book of Psalms, chapter 40, verse 8. I delight to do thy will, O oh my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. Hey, bro. Hey, bro, bro. Hey, come back right quick, bro. Let me show you something right quick. Let me show you what, what's important. All right? I want you to understand something, bro. You said you got a drug addiction, right? I didn't say that. What you say? I'm sorry. I, 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 excuse me. You want me to pray for you for one cause what? No, I look. What I want to be prayed for is not for me, not for a separate thing, so I can be a better grandparents so I can be a better son for my parents and, 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 give me the wrong not for me watch this so let, let me show you something right let me show you something you don't even got a I, I know what you're saying my bad bro hold on hold on hold on bro let me show you something hold on read that right quick bro the book of Romans chapter 12 verse 2 this is how you become a better person do read and be not conformed to this world you can't be conformed to this world read but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. You gotta renew your mind. You gotta stop doing the thing you was doing. That's right. That's how God, you want God to answer your prayer. If you if you was an alcoholic, stop drinking. That's right. You smoking, stop getting high. You smoke cigarettes, put the cigarette down. That's how you become a better father. That's how you become a better uncle, a better uh, 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 a better son, a better cousin, a better a better family member. By renewing your mind, man. Here you go. Oh, praise exactly. Uh, give me a uh, go back to First Kings. What was it? So we got to understand and apply the proper steps to repentance. We got to apply the proper steps to repentance. Understand why we're in the conditions and how to get out of the conditions. Read what you got. The Book of First Kings, chapter eight, verse forty-seven. Yet if they shall bethink themselves in the land whither they were carried captive, and repent. And what? And repent. So you gotta first bethink yourself, knowing you're an Israelite, in the land which you was carried captive, and repent. We don't. 
and make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carried them captive. See, that, that's the proper steps again. So first we got to understand where Israelites repent. Then we can make that prayer and supplication to the Most High God. And he will start answering us. We don't. Saying, we have sinned. Saying, we have what? We have sinned. So we got to confess our sins to the Most High God. What we have done wrong, knowingly and unknowingly. And repent, change our ways, like the officer said. Put down the blunts, put down the cigarettes. Put down all manners of sin. We and have done perversely. We have committed wickedness. And so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies, which led them away captive, and pray unto thee towards their land, which thou gavest unto their fathers, the city which thou hast chosen, and the house which I have built for thy name. Our praise. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Now we're going to get you your nationality according to the Bible. Hey, brothers over there, come holler at us, man. And I see you sitting down there. If you got questions, come ask. We're here to teach our people. We're trying to uplift the community. We're trying to get our people off these drugs. Stop pimping out your women. Stop holding them out. We've got to give you the scripture according to the Bible. Because we all came out of that same lifestyle. Once we realized we were God's chosen people. That's right. All right? Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall Bring come up. to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So guys, so look, if you don't listen to what I told you to do, Israelites, will you? To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So God said, look, if you did not obey all my commandments which I have given to you, I'm going to put curses upon you. We're going to show you some of these curses that's upon our people right now to this day. Read verse 16. Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. So it said, look, cursed shall thou be in the city. Anywhere you go across America, Memphis, Nashville, obviously, uh, Chattanooga, Knoxville, Chicago. If you go to the poorest parts of the community, you're going to see our people right there. Because God said what? Cursed shall thou be in the city. God said, cursed shall thou be in the city for breaking my commandments. For turning your back against me. Read. And curse shall thou be in the field. And curse shall thou be in the field. If you go back to the slave times, we was cursing the, was cursing the cotton field. Cursing the sugar cane field. Little kids up to the age of three, all the way up to however old you could get. No matter what, you would be in the cotton field picking cotton. From daylight to daylight. No matter what, not giving any breaks. Barely giving a bottle of water to drink. Read that from the top. Verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. Also, for y'all going to TSU, trying to get your uh, degree in whatever manner of uh, career you want to pursue in, you're going to be cursing your job field. Because it takes a hell of a lot of time for you to get a, a job for what you actually went to school for. If they see so-called African-American marked in the application, you have a 50% you have a more chance than anybody else of getting that job. Just because you're a black man. That's a cursing. That's being cursed in a job field. That happens in so-called blacks and Hispanics. Nobody else. Well, give me a verse 37. Verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb and a byword, among all nations, whither the Lord shall lead thee. How you doing, brother? You got a question? Come right over here. No, no, no. I'm just saying, you, you, you know who Apollo was in the Bible? What about him? All right, Apollo was called, when he come through there preaching, but Priscilla and Aquila to wish the man of God over man of God. Uh -huh. They had to put him on question about stuff. He's like, me, you know what I'm saying? What I understand about this right here, you know what I'm saying? It ain't about the black or white. It ain't about what the Christian church is teaching. It's about what, it's about what we're teaching today. So it's about, so you're saying it's based about the Bible, right? Yeah, it's based about the Bible. So, 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 so listen, listen. So it ain't about a personal opinion. But bro, because, 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 I don't mean to cut you off. Do you have a question? Yeah, what I'm saying. But if we go about it the way they tomorrow, can you can like, you present your question? Okay, okay. Like, they, well, I already know. You know, the, the, uh, he had feet of bronze, eyes of fire, and hair of wool. Not necessarily, right. not necessarily saying the black man because. From, Hold on, but you don't have, you're not presenting your question yet. Give me Jose four and six real quick. Cause, no, 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 like I said, I got to show you according to the Bible. If you if I have a question, you've been indoc indoctrinated. See, that's a different thing because hear this right, out real quick, right, brother. Right now, what it's saying like it means. You, like, you guys don't have a question. I'm like, trying to give you the opportunity like, to give me a like, question. Like, like you crossed up. Read what you got. Islamic Hosea Islamic chapter Islamic. four verse six. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So is my not possessive? It says, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. It didn't say all people. No, 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 not, 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 not. Read that again. 
My people, what? My people, what? My people. This is all people. Right there when he said, the hell, wool, and all that. Don't necessarily say he was a black man. First of all, white man, let me say that I love you, honor you, envy you, enjoy your smell, and I celebrate you in the name of white Jesus. Um, thank you? No, thank you. Look at that. That's a handsome young man, ain't it? Now, if God looked like Isaac Hayes, you think his son would look like this? I read that again. Go to Revelations, man. Bring it up. Hold on, hold on, bro. We're gonna discuss, bro. We're gonna discuss. We ain't out here to try to blast you, bro. We want to get an understanding. I'm gonna let you speak. Ain't ain't no way you can blast me. Listen, no, no. This what I'm. This what I'm telling you. See, that's like that old Donald Trump or just like black. I'm gonna let you speak. You gonna let me speak? Can we dialogue? That's all I'm asking. You don't want to dialogue. Give me Job chapter eight and verse thirty-two. Bring it up. That's what I'm saying, man. Job chapter 8 and verse 32, bro. These old men think they know something. If you knew something, it wouldn't be blood and crypts in the neighborhood. If you knew something, it wouldn't be vice lords in the neighborhood. If you knew something, they wouldn't be talking about they were GDs in your neighborhood. If you knew something, the A-Rabs would own the stores in your neighborhood. That's what I'm saying. Don't come over here trying to teach us, bro. We trying to teach you. That's right. Read. Job 8 and 32, read that. I'm about to do something. Yeah, I know it, because we trying to get you on drugs. We trying to make you a king on earth. Yeah, we trying to shit. Cause we trying to we trying to wake you up. What are y'all doing? Now? Watch this. Read that, man. Job chapter thirty-two and verse seven, bro. Come on. And I'm getting chills. Dude, this was wrong with the black man, man. We can't be kings on the earth because the black man want to come against the black man. If we were white people over here, he really came over here and expressed his opinion. We ain't out here for your opinion, man. We tried to dialogue with you like a man, but no, you want to give your opinion and go sit down because you got the mind brain of a boy. That's right. Then we gonna be in our community and the old man can't talk to the young man because you are a boy. You are a grown boy. Willie Lynch has destroyed you. He done turned the old man against the young man, man. We can't even dialogue. You got to go back across the street and sit over there and think you know everything. Read what you got, man. Bring the book of up. Job, chapter 32, verse 7. Bring it up. I said, they should speak. The Bible said they should speak, old man. Meaning that because you in your 50s, the Bible said they should speak. Read. And multitude of years shall teach wisdom. Man, you should be out here teaching us. You should be out here with a microphone trying to wake the people up. But you got you got us a sack talking about you know the Bible. And we under what 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 else he said uh we don't matter if Jesus Christ was black or white. That's because you got the white man on your brain. That's right. That because you've been indoctrinated as a slave and you don't think that Jesus Christ, you don't believe in the Bible. That's right. You don't believe in the book you think you know. The Bible said they should speak read. They should speak, and multitude of years should teach wisdom. The multitude of years should be teaching us wisdom. It takes young men to come out here and teach you old men something because you old men have failed a whole generation of young men. Y'all failed to teach us, now we got to come out here and teach y'all. So don't come try to teach us now when we come out here to teach y'all. Y'all failed. In the 80s you was on, you, you, you failed to cocaine. You failed to alcoholism. In the early 90s, you failed to cocaine. So don't come over here to try to teach us nothing now when you've been destroyed. You should have been trying to teach us something when the Black Power movement was going on. When you had your boots on, when you knew who you were. Don't come over here destroyed trying to teach us nothing, bro. Read. But there is a spirit in men. An inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. Great men are not always wise. The Bible said old men ain't what? Always why? That don't mean because you old, you wise. Man, y'all better take that over there somewhere. That's right. We ain't come out here to play games in the sun without people jumping around acting a fool. That's right. We come out here to restore life back into you, man. That's don't right. Don't think we no little kids over here. We come out here to get our people off crack cocaine. That's right. We try. We get our people off drugs, alcoholism. We get our women to learn how to be a woman and stop selling her ass every damn Sabbath. That's right. Every day of the week, she's selling her behind. We are here to restore life back in our community, man. Don't come over here telling us like you know something. See the black man, man. Give me do the run of 28 and 28. That's how you know we the Israelites. The brother come over and say it don't matter what color you are. It don't matter what color G. The Bible don't say Jesus is black. Man, you out your mind. That's right. The Bible say he look like you, but no, the white man on your brain, you don't want Jesus to look like you. 
You want it to not matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If it doesn't matter, the white man would have threw you on a slave ship, brought you up to a land that you did not know, and told you that he was God. That's and the Bible don't say he had her like a dog. It don't say his eyes were blue like an uh, ocean. It don't say his skin was pale like some damn uh, butter. That's right. The Bible don't say that. The Bible say this, man. Get out, go back. Give me that. Uh, give me the number 28, 28, please. I'm going to let you get it back, bro. Hold on, man. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. The Lord will go smite the black man with what? With madness. Yeah, don't be mad at us, because we out here trying to teach you now. That's right. Hey, y'all don't want to let the white man put crack in there and start selling there, teaching the younger generation to sell it. Now yeah, they selling crack to you and you out your mind, doing what you try to do to get high. Bring it up. Don't come over here teaching us. Right. We got a school where we learn. It's called Israel United in Christ. That's right. That's what we learned the Bible in. You old man, it's time we got to stand up and take the community back. And put the crack down, put the guns down. But now y'all don't want to do that. All y'all want is a blue top and a 20 rock. That's all you want, a blue top and a damn 20 rock. That's what you want. But give me all the videos, chapter 21. Let's see what God say about tattoos, bro. You are a chosen man of God. Now first give me Genesis chapter 1 and verse 26. God made you in his image. And you, what you saying, God ain't perfect if you got tattoos, bro. That's what you saying, God is not perfect, bro. We ain't in with no Illuminati, neither. We ain't about no pyramids. We built the pyramids, we. Right. The book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 26. And God said, let us make man in our image. God said, let us make man, the black man's right. image, in our images, right. as him and the angels. We. After our likeness. After their likeness. Now give me do the uh, Leviticus 21 and 5. Bring it up, Uck. Uh. How you gonna go get tattoos on your body when God said up there made you his image? What you trying to say God ain't perfect or something? That's right. You trying to say God ain't nothing when you go get tattoos all on your body like he didn't make you like he wanted you to be. He gonna come over and show all them tattoos. Read. Right. The book of Leviticus chapter 21 verse 5. Hey, listen, bro, listen. They shall not make baldness upon their head. The Bible said you're not supposed to make baldness on your head. Listen. I'm a man, I talk to you. Neither okay, come around here. Come around here. Come around here then. Come around here, bro. Hey, listen, man. Listen. Come around here. Listen. Black, black power. That's what I'm talking about. Black. We talking about, listen. I'm talking about black power. Come around here. We gonna, come around here, bro. I'm with y'all. Okay, power. then. That's black what we trying to tell you. I'm it's not about black power. It's about black. Israelite power. That's right. Hey, let me ask you something then. What's your nationality? Listen, come I'm, around here, bro. I'm, I'm a Hebrew. I'm an Israelite. I'm, I'm from Commit. I'm an ancient. It's no, that's that's important. Hey, that's hold on, bro. Y'all stay in order. Hey, come here, bro. So you don't want to talk, man. That's why we got to talk over you, cause you ain't trying to dialogue, bro. Hey, give me about Egypt, bro. Give me uh, give me Ezekiel chapter 29 and 12. I think it is. What is your nationality, bro? What makes you an Egyptian? Come here, bro. So you don't want to talk. We cannot talk. What is wrong with the black man talking about black power and he can't sit up here and have a conversation? That's he want to say what he want to say, get back in this car and go down the street and we can't talk. I give him an opportunity to speak, but he don't want to speak. It ain't about no black power. That's right. It's about Israelite power. That's right. We are the Israelites. We are not Egyptians. We are not Egyptians. The Egyptians stay enslaved the Israelites just like the white man enslaved the Israelites. Just like the Arabs enslaved the Israelites, the Egyptians had the Israelites in slavery. Don't come over here talking about no Egypt. Read what you got. Bring it up. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 29, verse... Read yeah, read that. Verse 12. And I will make the land of Egypt... He, he said he was going to make the land of Egypt, what? Desolate. Meaning there ain't going to be nothing in Egypt. Read in the midst of the countries that are desolate uh -huh. and are cities among the cities that are laid waste shall be desolate 40 years and I will scatter the Egyptians among the nations and will disperse them through the countries. Now keep reading. Yet thus said the Lord God, at the end of 40 years will I gather the Egyptians from the people whither they were scattered. And I... Oh now go to 15. Verse 15. And I shall be the, no, really right. and it shall be the basis of the kingdom. So Egypt is the basis of all the kingdoms on the earth, man. Come over here talking about Egypt, man. Go back to where I was at. Where was I at a while ago? Bring it out. Leviticus 19. Oh, Leviticus 19. Read. 
Leviticus chapter 19, verse 27. I get back on the old men, bro. They come over here and think they know stuff, man. We out here for y'all. We ain't come out here against y'all. We come out here for y'all. That's right. That's right. Y'all think we come out here against y'all. Read that again. The book of Leviticus chapter 19, verse 27. You should not... Verse 19. Chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. The Bible said that black man, you ain't supposed to do what? Hate thy brother in thine heart. The Bible said that you're not supposed to hate another black man that look like you. So to come up against us, that means you got hatred in your heart. And the white man put that hatred in your heart. That's right. If you if, the, if you got hatred in your heart, if you selling cocaine to your people. That's right. If you, if you cooking up crack and you coming out here selling cocaine to your people to get you a pair of Jordans or something like that to pay your own bills, guess what? You hate your people. And what the Bible say? Thou shalt not hate thy brothers in thine heart. You cannot hate your brothers in your heart. You got a question? Come over here, sister. You got a question? All crazy. You do? There's no such thing as mixed. What is that father? Come here, sister. Let me show you something. I know Listen, I got that was wrong with black people. We not racist. Everybody on the earth racist, but black people. We want to love and hug everybody. What I'm trying to tell you, there's no such thing as being mixed, sister. What is the What is the father of your grandchildren? That is what your grandchildren are. If your if your grandchildren father is a white man, he's a white man. If your grandchildren father is a black man, guess what? He's a black. Them children are black. Right. All you gotta do is ask the white man. You got any look of you got any look of uh, darkness in you? They call you a Negro, a right. uh, mulatto. So what color? Give me numbers. Give me numbers, chapter one and six, eighteen. Break it up. Hear me out, sister. Hear me out. This is gonna walk off. We out here to put knowledge on y'all. Listen, right. whatever your father is, that's what you will because the man carries the seed. That's right. We carry the seed. You carry the egg. The woman carries the egg. She is the soil. Read what you got. The book of Numbers, chapter 1, verse 18. Bring it out. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they, they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. So they always declared the pedigrees of the Israelites by the house of their fathers. Give me Job 8 and 8. The mother just carries the egg. The man carries the seed. So whatever the man put in the woman, that's what it is. Just like if I got an apple seed and I carry that apple seed over to China, guess what's going to grow? An apple tree. If I carry that uh, peach seed over to uh, Australia and put that peach seed in the ground, what's going to grow up? A peach tree. There ain't going to be no mix. It ain't no apple and a, uh, a apple and a peach going to be on the same tree talking about we a mixed tree. Now you what your father is. That's right. And that's why God is against end of race of marriage because people don't want to believe the Bible because of the white man. That's right. Read. The book of Job, chapter 8, verse 8. This is what the black people got to do. Listen. For inquire, I pray thee of the former age and prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. You got to now for their mothers. For their fathers. You got to prepare the search of your fathers. Bring it out. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 7. It's time for us to prepare the search of our fathers. Who are you, black man? Don't just stand across the street and holler over here at us. Who are you according to the Bible? I bet now one of y'all don't know y'all nationality. I bet you're going to say you black. Black is the color of this truck right here. That's the color of them tires on that car. You ain't you dark, Negro, but you ain't that, you ain't that dark. Don't come with no African American. They're telling me you come from a white man named uh, Leo Scipio Africana and another white man named America Vespucci. How can two white men make a baby and cause then Jesse Jackson gonna just say in 1984 that we're gonna start calling ourselves African American? Who are you according to the Bible? Bring it out. They don't come out here playing with us. We. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 7. Remember the days of the old. The Bible say, do what? Remember the days of old. It's time for y'all to remember the days of the old and quit trying to hold a white man hand in everything you do. That's why we ain't got nothing in our community, because every time we try to do something, the white man get in the mix there, and y'all sit up there and embrace him. Right. Y'all embrace the hell out of the white man and hate the Negro. Right. Y'all hate us for coming out here. But if we were white people over here, you wouldn't be doing that. Right. You'll be just like a good nigger. Right. You'll be a good slave if we was white people over here. Right. You'll be over here asking for snapping pops, cotton candy, hot dogs, and a drink of water. Because that's, right. that's what they're going to give you. 
they're not going to give you what we're giving you. Right. We Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. You ain't done what we done. Oh, you ain't done what we done. You ain't had no built to the community. Ask thy father, and he will show thee. Why are you standing across the street? That was wrong with the black man. I came out here last time and done a lesson on the black man has been really lit. Y'all scared of the young men, man. We ain't got no guns. We ain't got no knives. We not coming out here to fight with y'all. We come out here to build with y'all. But most of y'all too high on crack. Y'all high on weed and pills to even build something. We tired of the A-Rabs owning the stores in our community. We tired of the white man owning the stores in our community. We tired of that, man. When you gonna wake up? We can't do nothing because you won't wake up. The old man has failed the black community. Yeah, get y'all out of here. Read that again, man. Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. You got to consider the, the years of many generations, man. Come back to who you are. You was a king on this earth, but now you a slave sitting on a, uh, a shade tree every day. You a slave to the blue top, the red top, the Jack Daniels, the crack, the pipe, the weed, the pills. You a slave to what the white man has put in our neighborhoods, man. When you gonna wake up and be a king on earth again, man? And then, uh, being a king ain't standing across the street yelling at us. Come over here and let's be like men. Let's be like men, bro. Let's be like men. How we gonna be in our communities up? Y'all standing across the street hollering at us? Uh, we standing over here hollering at y'all? No, we ain't gonna be in no community up like that. We gotta come together. Give us up another two and one, man. Y'all do know the Negro instructions that are going to come to uh, Nashville, don't it? You know Donald Trump ain't playing with y'all black asses, don't it? All right? Y'all do keep thinking it's a joke out here. When that nuclear fire comes, do not pray to our God. You gonna get back the hell up. We, these white folks ain't playing with y'all. Why y'all want to hold hands with them? Y'all love holding the white man's hand. Yes, a master. Yes, a master. I love everybody. He looking at you like, nigga, I don't love you. He looking at you like, nigga, get out of me. I wish, he wish he can go back to segregation. That's right. Everybody want to love the white man. To hell with the white man. That's right. You don't forget he put jokes of iron upon your neck. How he used to rape you, black woman. That's right. How he used to take you. Still. You don't forget. Still don't. He's still raping you. Now the A-Rabs over here raping you too. Bring it up, huh? Yeah, he giving you a little credit. You give him a little head. Bring it up, we know what go on in the A-Rabs store behind the corner. Behind the counter, but we dealing like me and not hollering at no cop. Come on over here and let's deal, man. Let's deal. Read. Hey, how y'all brothers doing, man? Come over here. When you see a young man reading a book, if we were your daddy, y'all come over here. When we were young buck, y'all be over here. When we read a book, and then, hey, they say you want to hide something from a nigga, put it in a book. Read. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together. The Bible is calling a black man to do what? Gather yourselves together. That means wake up. Let's gather together, man. How we going to gather together? God just standing across the street. Listen. Listen. Come around here, bro. Come on over here, man. Yeah, get, hey, give him a flyer. Get this man a flyer. Yeah. All praises, man. I get a man some flyers, man. Book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yeah, gather together, O nation not desire. The Bible says for the black man to gather himself together. How are we going to gather together? It's time for us to wake up. It's time for the black man to wake up, get off drugs. It's time for the black man to wake up and marry the black woman. Right. It's time for the black man to wake up and take care of his kids. Right. You can't take care of your kids hanging under a damn tree all day. You can't take care of your kids getting drunk on blue top all day. Right. You can't take care of your kids smoking crack all day. Right. We gonna come out here and tell it like it is, man. Cause why? We love y'all. We come out here cause we love the community. Where your Christian pastors at? Where are the Christian pastors at? Now nah, they waiting on you to come under their air conditioning tomorrow so you can pay them to hear some lies. 
God let your preaching pastor go, but you got young black men coming out here in a hundred degree weather trying to wake you up. That's what you call love in the community. And y'all gonna see more of this too. And we hope we build your spot up. Cause we want you to move the crack out the neighborhood, move the pills out the neighborhood, we need all the damn heroin out the neighborhood, we need all the prostitutes out the neighborhood. Lord, that's what we need, man. Y'all want to be kings and rulers on this earth. You cannot do it because what you see. You just can't turn a blind eye, see a crackhead smoking crack in the alley, and you don't say nothing to him. No, them days are over with. This is not 1980. This is not 1990. This is not 2001, 2, 3, or 4. This is 2017. And what you see is a new breed of black men that's rising up in Nashville. That's right. That's what you see, man. You seeing the sons of God standing up again, man. Give me Ezekiel chapter 37 and verse 10, man. I'm going to let y'all come back. I know how I go, bro. I'm going to let y'all tell you, man. Let me to show you what you see. To hell with the white man. That's what we're trying to tell you. To hell with your slave master. He gave me some pork chop. Master gave me some slop. Master gave me some pig ears. Master gave me some, no, oh, he gave me a pig feet. He let me sleep in the big house. Master let me spend the night over the house. He gave me gas. Master gave me $20 more yard. Man, we don't care nothing about master. That's right. You are his master. That's He's supposed right. to be paying you. We. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, verse 10. So I prophesied as he commanded me. So we come out here to prophesy as God commanded us to prophesy, black man. That's what we doing, prophesying, read. And the breath came into them. So we trying to breathe the breath of life back into you. Right now you like a valley of dry bones. You like a valley of dry bones, man. Meaning you ain't got no life in you. You just laying on the ground dry as hell. Read. And they lived. And, and what? And they live. So what you see on this side is them valley of dry bones, the sinews coming back on that, and we gonna live. You looking at the bones that's living. Over there is the bones that's still dry. We trying to water those bones over there. Listen. And stood up upon their feet, an exceeding great army. So we trying to get you to stand up on your feet as an exceeding great army of God. That's what you see. That's why we out here in military. We look militant. Because we the army of God. And we're going to stand on our feet like the army of God and come out here and rebuke and correct our neighborhoods. That's what you looking at, man. This ain't no joke. We ain't the Christian church. We ain't your Christian pastor. We are not waiting to get your money on Sunday morning. We come out here with the truth for free. And we ain't even got no bucket out here. We don't want your tithes or your offerings. Right. Yeah, the police gonna blow the horn. They tired of coming to rescue you, nigga. Yeah. Police don't even come over here no more. Unless somebody calls them or somebody gets shot or killed. Yeah, they just riding around getting, your, getting the taxpayers' money. When you gonna police your own community? Yes. When you gonna see a nigga selling crack say, nigga, you gonna get this crack out of our neighborhood, nigga, we gonna do something to you. Right. No, but right. you know what? You niggas ain't gonna do that. You gonna say, hey, man, let me get a double up. So you can go destroy somebody else. That's right. When you gonna wake up and be a man in your community? Right. Keep reading on that. Verse 11. Then he said unto me, son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. So I'm telling you, these bones that we looking at walking around like zombies, y'all are the whole house of the children of Israel. Really. Behold, they say, our bones are dry. Y'all say our bones are dry, meaning we don't have no knowledge. The police are killing us at a rapid rate. It's AIDS in our community. That's some dry bones right there. We don't have no knowledge. The only knowledge we got is what the white man gave us. Read. And our hope is lost. We are, we, and, and our what? And our hope is lost. What did we do in the town? Why did we throw in the town, man? The fight ain't over with, black man. Because he put crack in our neighborhoods, the fight ain't over with. Because he flooded with air uh, with guns. Man, he flooded with bullets. Because he flooded with heroin, cocaine. The fight ain't over with. Y'all might not lay down in y'all shame. But the fight ain't over with. And the young black man going to come out here and we going to get it popping. That's right. And we don't care what the white man got to say. Right. We don't care. We gonna get it popping, and if you stand up a revolution, guess what? You in the wrong place, cause a, a revolution is coming to America, man. That's right. That's right. And if you a scared, drunk Negro, you in the wrong place. Just prepare to die. That's right. Just prepare to die. Now you got men gonna stand up with the word of God. We. That's right. We are cut off from our parts. Yeah, y'all, y'all say we been cut off from our parts. When y'all gonna stand up, man?
Shalom. Dus I'm Elton Nathaniel. Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.